In this session, we're going to look at how Civil 3D handles Microsoft Office content. I've got an empty title block currently. I'd like to turn that into a general notes plan. I've opened up Microsoft Word, and you can see I've got an existing document here. It's about four pages of numbered general notes, probably about as bad as you're going to get. I'm going to select all this text. I'm going to copy it to the clipboard, and then I'll go back to Civil 3D. We'll jump to the Annotate tab, and then I'm going to launch the Multi-Line Text tool. I will then define the column width I'd like to use. I'll set the text height I'd like to use, and then I'll zoom in on the editor and I'll paste my text from Microsoft. I will then zoom in and we can see that the column is a little bit longer than the page, but if I pan this around we can see it's retaining the same formatting that it had in Word. Now to make this fit the sheet it's not a problem. I can select the column. I'll come down and click the column height grip and I'll drag this up. We can see the text flows into a new column. If I click the grip on the next column, I can push that up and create another column. There are several grips here. I can use the one in the corner to adjust the spacing between the columns. Notice as you would change the column heights, uh, the text flows between them. I can also adjust the formatting if I want. I'm going to click by this numbered list. Notice I can drag these sliders. Same workflow that we have in Word. Not only did I clean up the text here for these numbered lists, I did it for every numbered list because they all share the same formatting. Another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click right after note number two and I'll press enter. You can see that the numbered list is being honored here in Civil 3D, so I can continue to add notes if I want to. If we zoom in, you can see I've added uh, two additional notes. I can also take these away. I'm going to select note number three. I'll backspace this out, backspace again, and you can see how the list is constantly renumbered. Let's pan the drawing over. Another thing we typically do with engineering plans is we usually work with all caps. I'm going to do a select all. I'll come down to change case and I'll choose uppercase to change that. I will then zoom out, verify my columns. At this point everything looks good. As you can see very easy to move content from Word into Sybil 3D. Next we're going to go the other way around. I've got a drawing here that represents a survey. In the upper left corner of this title block I have a uh, surveyor certification. This text was created in Civil 3D. I'd like to move this into Microsoft Word. Same thing, I'll go into my mText editor, I'll select my text and I'll copy. I will then jump back over to the Microsoft Word product. I'll start a new document and then I'll paste. And if I drag the slider up and down you can see that it retained the formatting. We're going to close these and then we will select a new layout. We'll look at uh, handling Microsoft Excel content next. This drawing represents a tree survey. I'd like to move this uh, Excel document over. This is a planting list. I'd like to move this over onto my title block. You can see that this table starts at cell C3 and it goes down to about uh, cell G20. We're going to keep that range in mind. To bring this content into Sybil 3D, I'm going to use the link data tool. I'm going to create a data link. I'm giving it a name here. I'm going to call it planting list. I will then select the Excel document that I'd like to attach to this data link. We'll grab the one we just looked at. And then once I select the document, I'm going to choose the range of data I'd like to bring into this drawing. So I'll type C3 to G20. And I'll press Enter. And then now that my data link is finished, I'll go ahead and click OK. Now that I've made the data link, I can create a table. I'll just launch the table command. I'll say I want to create a table from the data link. So I'll choose planting list and I'll click OK. And that's it. My table it can now come into Civil 3D. I'm just going to drop this on the title block. And if I zoom in, we can see that all of that data and the formatting has come over. The best part is this isn't an OLE object. This is a live AutoCAD table. So you can see I can use these grips to adjust the overall width. I can click inside the cells and I can drag these to change the column widths. So I can dial this table up to meet my needs, even though it's linked to the original Excel document. Over here to the right I have a tree survey data table. This was created in Civil 3D. Um, now I'd like to export this out. Before I do I just want to show you a couple other things. When I select the table, if I go over to my properties you can see that uh, table breaks is enabled. Remember how we did columns with our text. If I click this grip at the bottom I can push this up and create a second column for this table. Now when I zoom in you can you may look at this and think wouldn't it be nice if we could have headers on that uh, extra column. Yeah, I can do that as well. If I go over to my properties I can repeat the top labels. 
You can see I turned that on. Now let's look at exporting this data out uh, to an Excel document. I'm going to select the table and I'll right click. From here I can choose export and I can export this data as a CSV. We can easily open the CSV in Excel. Let's jump over to Excel. I'm going to open this uh, CSV file. And right there we can see all of the data from our Civil 3D drawing now exists in Excel.